In this video, I'm going to talk about the create video feature. So this is where the magic happens. Your clone voices can now be utilized to generate professional audios. And you can also use our generic voices and standard voices that are included here as well. In addition, you can also translate and create multilingual audios as well here. So basically the create audio section works as an all inclusive section for where you can generate professional audio and bring it all together with multiple speakers and that sort of thing to our block system. So before we get to that, let's discuss the first step. So when you land on the create audio, you see that gives an audio name. So let's say you have a project that you're creating audios from. So let's say this is about a topic like, uh, let's say for example, fitness, right? Fitness and dieting tips, let's say. Now you want to create, uh, use a voice. So let's say we go to uh, here and click on the select voice button. So here you have uh, generic voices that we have here. As you can see that uh, you can utilize, uh, these are our system voices as we like to call them. So you can use these system voices. So there are professional voices that uh, you can utilize within the system. So this is useful for many cases where you want to go beyond your clone voices and that sort of thing, or even beyond uh, the prompt to voice design voices as well. So uh, these are something you can utilize here. You have the search functionality here as well, where you can search for it. This is crucial where you have a lot of clone voices or voice design voices, for example, uh, and a lot of favorite voices as well, right? So now if I want to pick my clone voices, what I would do is you see right here where it says system. So here you would uh, actually click the system and you see where it says different categories. So let's talk about that right now. So cloned means your cloned voices. Okay, so this is basically where, you know, I cloned a voice of my own or I uploaded a voice and a clone and that sort of thing. I would pick this and then it will show, you see this right here, uh, my voice that I've cloned here, okay? So since the language is English, so this is my English clone voice. So if I chose, let's say a language is Spanish or something else, so, and then I click select voice, you see this, this is my Spanish voice will appear here under the clone category. So it's basically the language sorting feature, if you will. Okay. So if you want to have a different language clone voices you have here, just make sure you select the original language here first before you click on select voice. Okay. That way it'll show up. So for now, I'll just click on English to simplify this. I'll click select. And then let's say I want to use my clone voice. I would do so. Now, if I want to use one of the designed voices, I will click that. So since I don't have any that I created yet, uh, because that'll be the next tutorial we're gonna get to, it's basically a uh, link and then public library as well. The public library has thousands and thousands of uh, unique voices that were built. And uh, these will also appear here if you actually selected them. Again, you will have that in the next uh, tutorials uh, once you go to it, how to use the voices and bring them here, okay? The public library voices. Uh, once you go to the public library section. So for now, we'll just click on the clone voices, but the logic is the same, okay? Whether it's a design voice, voice or public library voice or a clone voice, whatever, they will all appear here uh, and you can then bring them and use them. Okay. So in this particular case, let's say I want to use my voice, see Paul voice in app recording one, and then you can uh, use a script here. Now there, you'll see a couple of other features. See translate to, it's an optional feature. So if you want to translate this into another language, you can do so. Um, useful where, for example, you want to generate a multilingual audio that which you don't speak that language, right? You can get to choose the translate option. Alternatively, you can obviously paste the script in your language. So let's say your language is Spanish or Hindi or German or whatever. You would just pick German as an example and paste your German script. So that way it won't be a little bit non-realistic because sometimes translations may not, uh, because it's made by AI, not be as natural as spoken day to day because of slang words used and stuff like that in your language, right? And different languages, for example, and even different accents, like for example, uh, Spain, Spanish or Argentinian Spanish or Mexican Spanish differs in terms of the slang words used, casual terms used for the, to derive the same meaning, 
right? So this is the reason why if you want to be more authentic, then you can basically paste the script uh, from that language itself, okay? So now, uh, as you can see here, I'm just going to pick English here for now, and then I can put the script. Now, let's say I want to use, uh, I don't know what to type. I can then use the generate script button right here, okay? So this generate script button basically works where you can just click on generate script, and then you can put a topic. Say, for example, I wanted to do it on a ketogenic diet for weight loss, as an example, okay? That's the topic. And then you can select the category of the script, short forms of social media videos, children's storybooks, animated video, advertisement and commercial script, explainer, educational videos, YouTube video scripts, vlogs, reviews, tutorials, podcast scripts, and on and on. In this particular case, let's say I want to create it for educational explainer use case, then I can just do that and create generate script or alternatively I can even give a website URL actually and generate it. This is useful for where, for example, you have an e-commerce website or uh, let's say you have even in some cases an article you want to base it off of to create a video on or even let's say you want to create it for a dentist or chiropractor or plastic surgeon, that kind of a business service-based business plumber electrician, then you can paste a website URL here and then you can generate that as well. So let me show you that as well, okay, right now. so. First, let's try this, then I'll show you the next step. So we click on generate script and then um, it'll generate the script for me, okay? And it will arrange it for me in a nice, neat way, like so, correct? You see this? So it generated me the script. Have you ever struggled to lose weight, even when you feel like you're doing an, an on and on, right? And then you can go to the very next step, like uh, after selecting the voice. So let's say I can go back and then I can go and click uh, clone voice and then I'll select my voice again and then click create audio and it will go to the next step, which can, we're just gonna do preview segments and the block system, which is incredible. It gives you a lot of flexibility. But before we get to that, let me show you as well, because you might be wondering, um, you know, for example, where, um, like I want to generate from a website URL. Okay. So let me show you that right now. So in this particular case, I'm on this website. Look, let me just copy this URL. So what this is, is uh, Marini. And uh, in this particular case, it's a naturopath, right? Uh, botanical uh, medicine and you know, that sort of thing, digestive issues and that sort of thing. And uh, so let's say, for example, clinical nutrition is uh, the case here. And so as you can see here, these are the services offered and uh, that sort of thing. So I can, you can just go to co uh, copy and then uh, let's get go to generate. And then in this particular case, I'll paste it, the URL, you can see here. And it can be even the, just the domain name too, but in this particular case, I can even put it. And if you want to do web search, so web search is basically where you don't have a specific URL, uh, but you want, like say for example, you're not sure which page to get this information from, it will get it from there, okay? Does that make sense? That's what web search is. It's optional, you don't have to do it in many cases because uh, just from this page alone, we'll get the details, correct? So uh, you get the idea. So now in this particular case, in the topic, you can say uh, how, our, um, you know, our natural, uh, nutritional, let's say, right? Nutritional consulting, uh, will benefit your health, let's say. Okay. And, and then, um, you can just do category. And then again, you can put, what is this for educational videos or is it for advertisements, commercial scripts, let's say advertisements, right? Cause I want to. Uh, I've created an ad or something like that uh, for this, like a voiceover ad, that kind of thing. So then I would just generate the script. So this is also another option. Okay. So again, this is useful where, for example, you want to do it for a specific business or an e-commerce brand and that sort of thing. So uh, as you can see here at Marini Love Clinical Nutrition, we go beyond generic diets. Uh, we create evidence-based tailored nutrition plans and that sort of thing. And it creates uh, a nice lot. And of course you can modify it. You can use chat GPT to generate a bigger version or any other thing like Google Gemini or something like that. There's so many other uh, ways to create it, but this is a good way uh, for you to get an idea started. Okay. So uh, then again, you can go in here and then um, you can go and uh, update the audio and boom, it can now see how it goes into the next step. Now, this is the step that is the most critical part of, I would say, the create audio section. What this is, is a blocked based system. So you have block number one, right? This is block number one. Then you got block number two, you see, um, and on and on, right? So this will be block number two and on and on. So 
basically the beauty of the block system is that you can nicely uh, create certain elements and add and remove things and make changes and that sort of thing, right? So for example, you see here, um, I have struggling with stubborn fatigue and that sort of thing. Let's say for example, I want to only uh, put an emotional style for this, like in the beginning for this block. I can then go into this section, emotion style section, okay, that you see here. I can just click drop down. And let's say, for example, I want to create a very, um, let's say, for example, uh, surprise or calm or happy tone, okay? In this particular case, for example, because, you know, we are trying to push the pain points, I will put uh, effectively uh, an afraid or surprised kind of thing, right? If you will, okay? So then you can use an afraid emotion just for this, okay? You understand? And then that way uh, you can basically uh, test this, how this sounds like and that sort of thing. So uh, you can even preview it here. So what we did is to make sure that the previews generate quickly. We only preview the first few uh, words. So you get an idea that way, you know, people are not uh, generating tons and tons of previews, which slows down uh, the generation time because we're using the next generation AI technology for this. So you just click on the preview tab and then the preview tab is right here. Okay. So this is for preview. So you can check out how this sounds like, if you will. As you can see, it says here, note previews limited to the first 10 words for faster process. Okay. Uh, again, struggling with stubborn fatigue, fatigue digestive, digestive upset, upset, or, or feeling, feeling constantly, constantly out, out of balance. balance. It, is it is time, time for, for a personalized, personalized approach, approach to your, to your health. health. Struggling. You got the point, right? So if I'm not too satisfied about it. Then I can use uh, sad, for example, right? And then I can confirm that sort of thing. And you can mix and match. Like say at money, uh, uh, nutrition, we go beyond generic diets. Maybe I don't want to put any emotional side. It should be my normal voice. Uh, and then I want to add only for this, imagine increased energy. Maybe this is happy. So you can play around with it. Uh, and again, this is optional. Okay. So you don't even have to do it if you don't want to. Let's say you want to just keep your default voice because sometimes emotions can change your voice tonality a little bit, uh, obviously, because you have to change. Just like a musician will change their uh, vocal when they're singing different tunes. When you're changing your emotions, your voice will slightly change, right? It's just a natural thing. Uh, so that is one, okay? So you can uh, mix and match the styles. The second thing is you see this ad expressions. So you can add expressions. So what is an expression? An expression is ha uh, basically where chuckle, cough, groan, laugh. So let's say, for example, this is very powerful in conversational style where, uh, you know, you can add things, for example, are you really happy with this? You know, because I heard something really funny, haha, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So uh, chuckle, laughter, and the long pause, short pause, sigh, sneeze, you have all these yawn and that sort of thing, okay? The way we, you should do this is not overdo this, obviously. It has to look natural, right? So uh, let's say, for example, uh, it where it makes sense, you know? So I would say um, struggling with stubborn fatigue, uh, digestive upset, or feeling constantly uh, uh, out of balance. And then here, I could put, let's say, something like I sort of chuckle. It makes more sense to... Uh, sigh, right? You can, or, or uh, right? Right? That's the, uh, that's that, uh, emotion. You can put that in here. So that's the basic idea. You can put that anywhere in, uh, and do up to five of these tags for each, uh, um, you know, block. The idea is again, we don't want to have put too many, so it looks strange. You want to make it natural, just like a podcast or just like any video or an audio, or whatever we've seen. It looks very natural, right? That's why we've done that, um, in this uh, way. And again, you can play around with it across the board and. As you can see here, you have uh, all these other uh, words in here. Now, let me just go back to the step number one again for create audio. I want to show you that option where you can generate the script, okay? So you see this, right? As you can see here, you can just put ketogenic diet benefits or whatever. And right here, it says web search optional. So this is another useful thing where say, for example, you're not too sure about the topic, you want to also do some research on something more relevant, something new, you can do it. So for example, let's say I wanted to create an educational video and it's about, let's say some recent event, okay? So let's say a recent event could be, say for example, how tariffs 
could increase inflation. Let's that's an example because it's more recent. Um, now let's say, let's say for example, then you can just generate the script and it will t go with the latest news that is about tariffs or inflation or something else, right? So basically that's the idea of uh, having to utilize, okay, that web search because some cases maybe you want to have that more relevant data, okay? So then, uh, then you can click on uh, create new audio. And again, you can use the expressions, happy, sad, whatever, and then uh, emotional style and expressions here, as you can see, cough, chuckle, whatever. Okay. And now you're happy with the voice. You can just click on generate audio, and then it will generate it, whatever the title that you decide to give it. Now, there are a couple of uh, features here that, uh, I will uh, explain here. So fun thing is once it's finished, you're going to see right here uh, under the play button, you can play it. Uh, then you can clone the project and you can even edit the project. You can download the project or delete the project. All these tabs are in right here. Now, uh, the next thing obviously is for you to even use the merge function. So if you wanted to merge uh, multiple audios and make it a longer length um, uh, clip set, you can do that by just selecting it. So you can select this, 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 for example, or whatever you want to do, you can select it and you can um, basically uh, click on it and you can generate the uh, audios right here as one big audio file, and then you can merge it together. So that function is good for you to create longer length uh, clips, if you will, or audio files or voiceovers and that sort of thing. So see you in the next video.